Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I am Shivam Solanki and today we are going to talk about the most important, the most fast and furious planet, the moon. You know why I have chosen this topic because I just realized that moon is the most important thing in our life because whatever we do, it gets filtered through our mind and this is what moon represents. So let's talk about moon and then we will talk about the moon placement in different houses. So to understand moon, we must know what moon indicates. So in our life, moon is our mother, moon is our nutrition, moon is our comfort, our sense of belonging to someone, to something. You know, that is why moon rules 4,000, 4,000 is our country, our locality, our neighborhood. Because moon rules the sense of belonging. Moon rules our emotions, emotions in sense that in which area of life, in what things, to what people we attach our emotions to. That is moon. Moon also represents our thinking, our mind. What do we think? How do we think? In what direction does this human being thinks? In what direction he will filter all the things? For example, a same event happens to 10 different people but all of them react differently that reaction is because of their moon if somebody has moon in 8th house he will react negatively doubtfully and depressively if somebody has moon in lagna he will react very cheerfully and very optimistically so this is how the life pattern of a person changes and that is why moon is considered the most important planet because it also decides our dasha. For all my folks of western astrology, let me tell you what dasha is. Dasha is basically a system to time events and to know what happened in what time. That system is in Vedic astrology and not in western astrology unfortunately. So coming back to moon. Moon represents all these things in our life and hence it becomes a very important planet, an extremely important planet I should say in every person's chart. That's why after Lagna and Lagna Lord, the second planet that we should look to is Moon and its placement. So let's talk about the Moon's placement in various houses. So what does Moon in the third house do? Let's discuss what is third house. Third house is the house of Mercury and Mars. Third house is the house of initiating something, of courage, of technology, of social media, of your neighborhood, your neighbors, your brothers, your friends. All these things are represent by, represented by the third house. So what does moon do here is that, first of all, this person is a social person this person likes to be on social media likes to meet people likes to talk to people but since the influence of mercury and moon this is a very restless condition of the moon you know mercury is also very quick planet moon is also very quick planet third house itself is a very quick planet quick house i'm sorry so this is a very restless position all the time something is going on in their mind all the time they're doing something they are very curious because of the mercurian element here because it is the original sign of gemini right so these people have a lot of curiosity but this curiosity is short-lived they have a tendency if there is the connection of eighth lord or saturn or rahu as well but generally, if we talk about moon in third house, they have short-lived curiosity. Something excited their mind. They started searching about it. They read something in Wikipedia. They watched one or two videos. One day, two day, and that's it. Not more than it. And then they will talk about this thing like they know everything. But the going in the depth factor is lacking in this placement. Unless and until... 8th house Rahu Moon Ketu influences this position or the dispositor of the third house also. So that is the reason why 
these people can do very good in uh, uh, marketing in uh, businesses like uh, reporting in uh, making like a youtube channel some videos on uh, various different topics you know not a sticking to one thing because sticking to one thing is hard for this placement now third house also represent your courage and your ability to initiate something so what moon does here is you can initiate it you can initiate anything but that has to emotionally excite you you know what some people start doing something or start a new venture because of different kind of emotions that have they have for example they may have a uh, responsible they may have a uh, practical approach ki if i do this then uh, this will happen and that is what i want or a responsible approach that is uh, we are suffering from this uh, so we need to get financially well hence i'm going to start this these are very uh, cold hearted kind of initiations but what the moon in the third house will do is he will wake up and then something happen in this morning and he will get so excited that i, I want to do something i want to do something today i want to do this or that and then he will go on a trip or he will start something new he will go and buy a guitar and start playing it you know what these kind of things happen these people are very excited very passionate about starting new things but obviously they must have some a uh, big planet that is jupiter saturn to stabilize this moon if you have some mars like planet or rahu like planet it will hurt this moon because mars is also a quick and sharp thing mars is also quick and uh, rahu is also very smoky illusion thing so combined with this uh, unsteady nature these planets will hurt the moon but with jupiter and saturn if they are with this then jupiter has the depth jupiter has the wisdom and the slowness you know it takes one year so jupiter will kind of stabilize jupiter will say that listen moon don't run so quickly you are going to get hurt saturn will say that listen moon stand here and first understand this then we will go ahead and listen until you don't understand this and finish this we are not going to go ahead so this is what is required for this moon and this person another thing that we can see is third house is a house of communication you know what whenever we communicate whatever rashi whatever planet is in your third house you have your mobile phone like that even your mobile cover is like that your email id is like that your way of typing messages is like that so moon here can make you talk on phone a lot with your friends you know moon will uh, give you a very sensitive and very soft kind of a speech in uh, while arguing with someone you may not have that uh, witty nature you may not have that sharp edge over someone with this placement but you definitely will have a more of a emotional side of any argument you will manipulate the situation you will manipulate the uh, topic into an emotional factor and then you will feel comfortable in this topic in discussing something so in discussions emotions does play a very important role for you another thing that is very prominent with this is travels if this moon is here you may love to travel i mean definitely you will travel a lot in your life especially in the dashant dasha of it you will also change a lot of homes because it is <coughs> you will also change you will also change a lot of homes because this is 12th from the 4th house obviously in the dashant dasha of moon also it will make you interested in religion and philosophy and charities and the good things of life you know all the things that our elders tell us to do because it is aspecting the ninth house from here it will also give you a emotional connection with your father you may also have a emotional connection 
I don't mean to say may, you will definitely have an emotional connection with your younger brothers or one or two of your friends. Even it could be also siblings. You know, you will also, uh, your father will also have a kind of moon-like nature because this moon is expecting your father in the ninth house. Your father will be, uh, if we say body-wise, he could be moon-like or his nature will have some sort of moon element. This will also give a immense interest in technology. You know, third house is a house of Mars, Mercury. It is a very technical house. Mars is technical, Mercury is technology, new technology. So these people generally have interest in new technology that comes out in the market. They will have very nice phones. They will change their phones very frequently. You know, one year, maximum max two years, they will change their phone. They will buy... Uh, even if they have some gadget, they will buy a new gadget, for example, new earphones. Just for the sake of technology and just for the sake of a new excitement. Excitement is the factor here, you know, these guys need excitement. They will do things like uh, uh, download a lot of different apps and then use them for a while and then delete them. So these are all the things that we can see with Moon in the third house. So guys, if you like this video, please share, like and subscribe to my channel and we will see you in the next video that will be on Moon in the 4th house.